Hey guys, Padu1979 here. Uh, got for you today a little video showing you guys my 12 gauge after I modified the firing pin and everything. So uh, with the uh, ATI cap, as you guys can see, my flashlight mount is gone. So yeah, I had some little issue with some slugs, man. The flashlight mount didn't stay in place with the tie wrap. So I'm going to have to change that and address that in a different way. So uh, but I'm just going to show you guys that the modification I made to the firing pin and firing pin spring work. So uh, bear with me. I'm just going to fire a few rounds and I'll show you guys the gun in detail after that. So. So, as you guys can see, I'm going to put that on the table right here. Take that off. So, as you guys can see, uh, it works fine now. Uh, my little flashlight mount didn't last long at all, so uh, that's a shame. But uh, the 12 gauge works just fine now from the, uh, from the modification I made. When I'm going to clean it up, uh, when I arrive home, uh, maybe today or tomorrow, I'm going to clean everything up. I'm just gonna look at it just to see if the um, just to see if the uh, the bolt the back of the bolt is being striked is not gonna do the same thing it did with the firing pin. So I'm gonna just look at that and probably maybe make a video and show you guys that as well. So uh, you know it works 100% now hopefully. So I'm gonna keep shooting today and uh, you know I hope uh, I hope this is gonna work great so uh, just a little video showing my uh, Remington 870 after I just made the modification to the firing pin I know it's been a while since I made the video for the firing pin but uh, man the temperature is just so freaking cold outside and snowy and shit so f first time we got some good weather so once I was to the shooting range I thought I'd make a little video uh, showing you guys uh, different loads with my Remington 870 since this is one of the first time I actually shoot you know uh, regular slug well actually managed recoil slugs re regular slugs I brought a whole bunch of you know rounds to try out so I'm gonna have two uh, this is gonna be uh, Winchester uh, you know double A just Winchester target your regular low brass after that is going to be uh, two uh, Remington managed recoil rifle slugs and after that is going to be two regular buck shots. So hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little quick vid and I just since I'm in the shooting range might as well do a couple video even though I got just my phone here. So Alright guys so it's two Winchester AA managed recoil then just regular two three quarter buck shot from uh, Winchester. So Alright let's go beat up our shoulder shall we? If you're used to shooting all the time, <laughs> it's not so bad. But uh, you know, if it's the first time, ooh, you're uh, you're gonna have time for your uh, shoulder to adjust to that recoil and build up a little bit more strength to absorb that recoil. So I think I'm gonna have to look for a good recoil pad. So I don't mind if it pushes backwards, but the recoil, man, just the the, the beat up that it gives you. So uh, start up with that, which is to target. Uh, manage recoil slugs. We got one left in here, so just that. And after that was just some regular Winchester uh, two and three quarter, twelve gauge, nine pellets, butt shots, uh, double O box shot, nine pellets. So. All right, guys, another little quick uh, shooting video with my twelve gauge. So I'm really glad the modification I made on it just worked out just perfect. Just came back from the shoot from the shooting range and just shot my Remington 870 which I'm gonna clean now. So uh, for those of you who looked at my Remington 870 uh, firing pin video and the fact that it was broken and you know I had some issue with it, 
I just came back from the shooting range, and the first time I pulled the trigger, man, I had a smile on my face because this thing is working 100% now. And a little bit sore in the shoulder because I fired some slugs, some butt shot, and a little bit of a redness uh, on the corner of my shoulder, but just where the butt pad, the, the corner of the butt pad uh, was uh, hitting. That, that R3 recoil pad from Remington is pretty good. I, I think I'm going to look if there's not a, another one that's a little bit softer than this one. Uh, the maximum recoil absorption you can get, the better it is. So um, let's look at the bolt just for two seconds. So a bolt seems to be doing just fine. Firing pin is perfect in there, so everything is good. The uh, uh, I got some uh, some ammo in my bags here that I brought back from the shooting range, just for souvenirs. So uh, I got one here. And where's the other? So let's look at the primer underneath some lights. So the primer is well struck. So yep, this is perfect. I mean, this is excellent. I mean. Couldn't be happier with that. So this is my, uh, so that was some double O uh, buckshot. And this is a, uh, a Siren Bellet um, managed recoil or sports slug. This thing kicks like a pff, fucking birdshot, man. It's like mid brass. Uh, it's, it's something weird. It's not high brass. It's not low brass. I'm just gonna show you guys that. It's like mid brass. It's kind of interesting, but it, it doesn't kick at all. And but it flies kind of all over the place, so not really precise for close up, yeah, maybe. But the point of impact, man, which is something I noticed while firing these things damn, the point of impact is just so freaking you have to aim low. I mean, at 25 50 feet, you have to aim underneath the target to hit, so kind of interesting. So, anyways, um, you know, just uh, gonna do a little bit of a cleanup real quick, just clean all that thing that shit up. Clean my barrel, clean my rifle, and put it back in the safe. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little video and that little montage that I will have made to the shooting range. Shot different loads, uh, a couple of things. So you guys should have for maybe a, a eight ten minute video. So maybe less, maybe more, depending on how much I edit out. So hope you guys enjoy and see you guys on the next one.